Hey everybody, it's Brett, and I'm gonna show you today how to take your doors off of your 2007 to 2018 Jeep Wrangler JK. Let's go do it, and make sure you don't wreck your doors. Before we take the doors off, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have the right equipment and right tools. Thankfully, Jeep gives you this little toolkit. Now, if you don't have this toolkit, you're gonna to wanna to get a ratchet and a Torx 50. Um, T50, that's what you're gonna to need to get those door hinges off. So now that you've verified that you have all the right tools to do this job and take these doors off, I'm gonna give you my pro tip for the day. Turn the ignition on and put all the windows down. Now that's gonna do two things for you. It's gonna make it a lot easier to carry the doors and move them. And it's also gonna protect your glass from breaking. If your doors accidentally fall over or you hit something with them, the glass is inside the door and they are protected. And that is my pro tip for the day. Put the windows down. So you can do this one of two ways. You can undo the harnesses first, or you can undo the bolts on the outside first. I always like undoing the bolts on the outside first, um, just because it's, it's less than that can go wrong um, when you have the door open and you take that harness off. Uh, so uh, take the bolts off first, get your Torx 50. Fits right in there and just start loosening them. After a couple turns, they might even be loose enough to hand loosen them. And you can see what they look like. They're a little shorter on the uh, JKs than they were on the, uh, than they are on the JLs. I don't think this person ever had their doors off either. You can take those off like so, and I'll show you where they can go in the back. All right, the first thing you need to do is to get your quick release off for your wiring harness for your doors. Um, that quick release is right up there. I'm gonna try and get it and video all at the same time. There's a little tab right there. You push that in and kind of pull it down like so. Sorry about that. Uh, but you can see that comes out like that. And then after that, there is a strap right here. Now this is gonna be pro tip number two in this video. Once you get this strap off, you need to be very careful with these front doors and I will explain why in just a second. So that strap just comes off like that. Now this is why you have to be very careful with these doors. So, now that there's no strap holding that door in, if the wind catches this door, or if you just let it, if you're on a downhill, this door will swing all the way open, and this piece will hit this part, and you will get a dent right there. And you see it on a lot of JKs um, from people doing that exact thing, taking their doors off, the door opens up, swings right into that, and that's what happens. So that is my pro tip number two for this video. And now we're ready to take the doors off. So before you put your, take your doors off, you gotta have a place to put them. So I recommend uh, putting them on a two by four, or you can get uh, holders on your wall that fit into studs and then are drilled into studs, and then you can hang them on your wall like I did. I'll show you a picture of uh, my garage, I still have mine up even though I don't have my Wrangler anymore. Um, but always have a plan in place so you don't wreck the bottoms of your doors. All right, let's take those doors off. All right, so now that we got everything undone, the straps undone, the quick disconnect done, you're gonna wanna take your door off. Um, so you just have to open it. And what's nice is now you can grab inside, you get a place to hold, um, you can use the mirror to get the door off. I'll show you that in just a second. So I, I always open them like this, and then grab from the bottom. You just slide right off of there. You can see how those hinges look. Um, this door is actually pretty heavy with the mirror. It's nice that you can grab the mirror and bring it to your spot. And it should look something like that when you're all done. Nice, safe, not gonna tip over. 
and uh, not going to get scratched on the bottom of the door. All right, to get the back door off, you're going to want to put this backrest all the way up, and you're going to want to pull the seat all the way up. You might want to get a flashlight as well, because you're going to have to get into here. So there's just a little bit of a, you could put, get a screwdriver or just pop it off like that. Now there's a quick disconnect right there, and you can get that like so. And then there is a strap holder that is right there. And if you can get that loop above that strap, fish it through the edge there, and now you're all set to go. All you have to do is get your Torx 50 bolts out of the doors and it's ready to lift off as well. So let's do that now. Yeah, I don't think this person ever had these out these are like really loose, really easy to get off and on. Plus you can always tell if the doors have been off a lot, if these are all chipped up. Like I know there's a chip there, but that's probably from a rock chip or something. Either way, um, it's usually a telltale sign because people aren't careful when they put these doors back on. But you can see just how easy these come out and then we'll take it off. So Jeep's nice enough to have a spot to put all your um, bolts, and you can see I already have my uh, hardtop bolts in there as I'm in the middle of my video doing the hardtop removal as well, but the door hinge bolts go in there, and then they go on that side. They're all the same, so it doesn't matter. You, you don't have to worry about mixing them up or anything, but that's where they go. All right, now that you have your strap and your quick disconnect off, and the bowl's up. This should just lift easily. Once again, windows down, easy to grab, easy to carry. And this door is significantly lighter than the driver's side door just because there's no mirror and it's smaller. Once again, find your spot to put your door where it's gonna be safe and out of the way. So that's what it looks like once you have your doors off and I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something and hopefully you got them off without denting your front panel or um, you know scratching up your door hinges and stuff. I really appreciate you checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe and share it on my YouTube channel. In fact in a second there's a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to how to take your hard top off your JK Wrangler in the upper right a link to take your doors off of your JL Wrangler in the lower left, and a link to take your hard top off of your JL Wrangler in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and uh, thanks for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. I really appreciate it, and uh, have fun in your Wrangler with the doors and the top off.